Mr. and Mrs. Galea? Hi. Hi. Come on in. I should be able to like start paying you back really soon. Mm-hmm. Well, you know. You know there's a stack of bills over there on the table with your name. Who yeah. do you owe to now? It's no one, it's for creditors or something. It's not that small. I'll pay him back. You know if you changed your address, I wouldn't have to see that stuff. Yeah, it's fine. It's what about? You need to update the tags on your car now. When we switched the title, it went from my birthday to yours. I'm sure you're driving on expired tags already. I'll add it to the list. Where's paying me back on that list? Sorry, it's not more. It's all I can spare this month. Mm, that's all right. I didn't, any amount helps right now. Um, I gotta get going. I'm in a big hurry. Thank you for everything. I'm sorry I missed your birthday. That's okay. I'm sorry. I um, like seeing you clean shaved again. Thank you. Um, I will call you soon. Thank you. Yeah, good luck on the job interview. Thanks. <gasps> so embarrassing. Okay. When fine. you were young, I thought you would do such wonderful things. But all you have done is disappoint me time and time again. There are days I think I hate you. Couldn't finish school. Military couldn't help you. Because you're embarrassing. You're such an embarrassment. No, you can't even take care of your own son. Yes, I can. Here. What's this? Just take it. Is this all of her stuff? Sit. You know what, Michael? A parent's love is exercised in more ways than you can imagine. I gave up my time with her to work to ensure that she had anything she could need. But what she needed was a mom who was there. So don't you dare act like you're the one who's hurting the most. I did the best I could. I am sorry if your childish brain can't comprehend it. Tonight, her friends will be there. People who care about her. It's a safe place but to talk about- But it doesn't matter. <laughs> I need you to just look right there. She's racing away. Okay. Hang on. Let me try. Okay. I'm going to go prepare a sedative. Try and get a hold of her hand. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Hold this hand. Okay? You got it? There you go. Out of your apartment? Yeah. But I don't know how. He doesn't know how to survive out I'm sure he's probably just hiding somewhere in your apartment. No! I looked. Okay, just calm down. Oh, what am I gonna do? I raised him. He was a baby. He doesn't know how to do anything outside of the apartment. It's okay. Just calm down, Jenny. No, he needs his shots. What? Wallace suffers from anxiety. The vet gave him pills, but he won't take them. So I have to give him an injection twice a day want to pry if you can't talk about it. Don't leave, don't leave me, please, don't leave me, please, no. It's fine. Um, I can probably tell you about it if you just promise not to, like, share it around or anything. No, totally. I won't say anything, but who do I know besides you anyway? <laughs> All right, I'll trust you. But um, if you tell anybody, I'm going to have to kill you. <laughs> okay, so um, her name is Jenny and she takes a lot of medications just to get through her day. And by a lot, I mean like 30 different things. So when her cat died, I guess it just must have been too much for her. 